How often have you had the sense that your life's events are being guided by unseen forces? In this article, we will explore the 12 laws of universal attraction that influence our lives, providing explanations of each rule and how knowing them may help you lead a more purposeful and satisfying life. According to the principle of divine oneness, all things are interdependent. All of life is shown as interconnected threads in a vast cosmic tapestry, much like a gigantic web where every strand is related. By demonstrating that changes to one thread have ripple effects across the fabric, this rule eliminates the appearance of isolation. Imagine a huge field of flowers, all different types coexisting together. Just as all living things are unique, we all coexist. Every single one of our deeds, ideas, and feelings has an impact on everything from our local environment to the very fabric of the universe. As a result of this rule, we no longer see ourselves in a vacuum, but rather as interdependent components of a greater whole. Recognizing that one's actions have consequences beyond one's immediate environment cultivates a feeling of accountability, as does an awareness of the interdependence of all things. Our energy has an impact on the collective energy because it goes beyond our own bounds and circulates through connecting strands. Everything in the cosmos is always vibrating according to the rule of vibration, like the steady beat of a song that underlies everything. According to this rule, all things vibrate at their own special frequency and reverberate with others at comparable pitches amidst the grand orchestra of existence. Because you are a vibrating being, the energy that you think, feel, and do add to this cosmic symphony, like attracts like according to the rule, which highlights the need of managing your energy production. When you're in a sticky circumstance, raising or lowering your vibratory frequency might help you shape your experiences without ignoring truth. Everything is involved in a complex dance of influence and response. Even things that appear to be doing nothing are actually vibrating at the atomic and molecular levels. The rule of conduct is simple. Your life can't be transformed by just thoughts. Get moving. It's realizing that in order to bring your aspirations into existence, you must first take concrete action. The connection between your dreams and your achievements, according to this law, is action. This law should be seen as a rallying cry for action. The most important thing is to go deliberately, not quickly. As the saying goes, the little things add up and help you get closer to your goals. Having an optimistic outlook is helpful, but taking action is what really gets you forward. Changes are possible because little regular efforts add up over time. The key is to build up to your goals gradually, not all at once. The significance of committing and devoting oneself is emphasized. The interconnectedness of your inner and outward lives is emphasized by the rule of correspondence. It implies that the world around you reflects how you feel within. Making comparisons is not the point of this law. Realizing this connects you to the fact that your internal experiences have an impact on your external environment. According to the law of correspondence, your external experiences mirror the patterns and ideas you possess within. There is no separation between your internal and outward realities, as this serves as a reminder. They go hand in hand. Acquiring knowledge of this rule encourages introspection. It challenges you to reflect on your own values, attitudes, and ways of thinking. One of the most basic principles is the law of cause and effect, which states that there is an outcome for every action. It is the realization that all events are predetermined. In a chain reaction, there is an effect for every cause. This rule emphasizes the one-to-one -one relationship between your deeds and their results. It stresses the need of being mindful of what you do. You can better grasp the possible outcomes if you do this. One must change their attitude from one of passivity to one of activeness in order to apply the law of cause and effect. Becoming an active participant in life rather than a passive observer is the key. Equitable and balanced treatment is central to the law of compensation. It implies that the cosmos is constantly trying to find a middle ground where all actions, good or bad, have equal and opposite outcomes. The goal of this statute is not retribution but rather social cohesion. You should be patient since the universe has its own clock 
and the consequences of your deeds may take some time to play out. Keep up your unwavering dedication to live a great life and have faith in the process. This leads you to reflect on the energy you put out into the world and make sure it matches up with the sort of payoff you desire. As a general rule, things with comparable energies tend to gravitate toward one another. According to the law of attraction, what you send out into the world, good or bad, determines what you get back. The underlying idea of this rule is that you are a magnet for your own ideas and feelings, which in turn shape your life experiences. Wishful thinking has no place here. It all comes down to realizing that the things you attract are a direct result of your thinking. This concept suggests that you should pay attention to the thoughts and feelings that you foster. Your most frequent thoughts seem to have an effect on the cosmos according to this theory. Your encounters may mirror your inner state if you dwell on things that are lacking or negative on a regular basis. In contrast, comparable circumstances are more likely to come one's way when one's attitude is one of plenty and positivity. The universal rule of continual energy transformation emphasizes how energy is in a permanent state of flux, changing forms throughout the cosmos. Think of it as a sign that you are invited to acknowledge the changeability of energy and that you possess the ability to influence the energies in your life. You have the power to change the energy around you by deliberately choosing to think and feel positively. The events you draw into your life are a direct result of your ability to redirect negative ideas. This rule stresses that energy is always put to good use. Its shape is just altered. Perception is key to the rule of relativity because it determines how we interpret real-world occurrences. Nothing has an intrinsic good or bad quality, it implies. It's all about how your ideas and experiences shape your relationship with different situations. Rather than comparing yourself to others, this law encourages you to see your difficulties in the context of your own personal path. Something that one person finds insurmountable may be very doably for another. Recognizing that your perspective shapes your reality is more important than downplaying the gravity of your difficulties. By highlighting the relative nature of problems, the law of relativity promotes empathy and the development of compassion. The fact that everyone has their own set of problems highlights how useless comparisons are. Light and dark, according to the rule of polarity, are not mutually exclusive but rather present in all things. It brings attention to how these duality are interdependent and how they impact your path as human beings. This law is a sign that the cosmos is well balanced since it acknowledges the importance of opposites. Achieving resilience and adaptation in many contexts requires striking a balance, accepting opposites. A key principle of rhythm is the ever-present ebb and flow of existence. Everything seems to be moving in a steady beat with ups and downs occurring at regular intervals. Life, according to this rule, follows a natural cycle, a regular beat that affects different parts of our being, much like the seasons. Think of this rule as an acknowledgement that life happens in cycles and that by learning to adapt to these rhythms, you can better handle difficult times and savor happy ones. Similar to how darkness gives way to light, difficulties will eventually give way to opportunity and happy times will inevitably be followed by reflective ones. Instead of fighting the natural ups and downs, it tells you to go with the flow. There are masculine and feminine energies present in everything, according to the rule of gender. It has nothing to do with sex at all and everything to do with the eternal laws of making things happen. According to this rule, all things and people contain a combination of these energy, which helps keep the universe in equilibrium. Both active and passive elements come together in the creative process. It promotes the realization that these energies interact in essential ways throughout the life cycles of development, maturation, and change. The attributes linked with male and feminine energy are inherent in every person. It's not about fitting in with traditional gender roles, but rather realizing that these energies complement one other and are essential for complete growth. Assertiveness nurturing reasoning, and intuition are all encouraged to work together in harmony according to this approach. If you found this video meaningful, 
you may want to consider sharing it with someone you know might like it. Until we meet again, please feel free to share your ideas, stories, and experiences in the space provided.